Hi, this is Sandy with Glass Moose. I'm going to show you how to make these really cute, simple sliding knots, adjustable bracelets. They're great for craft shows with a uh, low price range on it. You can see I'm selling mine for about $3 or so. Um, great for birthday parties if you want to hand something out to kids or to people. I'm using Rat Tail. These one, this one is a variegated tie-dye, which is really cute here at the Lake of the Ozarks. It matches everybody's swimming suits, and you can jump in the lake and not worry about it. I've got a knitted ball there and some bells. Um, these are great because they slide. It's a sliding knot. Real simple to do. You just, to make it bigger, slide the knots away from each other. And to make it smaller, just slide the knots towards each other. You can embellish it with beads or you can just leave it plain. Doesn't really matter, just kind of fun. I'm starting with 24 inches of cord. If you want to embellish it, put your beads on. Just make sure your beads have holes large enough to fit on your cord. Then I'm gonna just kind of wrap it around there and size it about what I want it to be. If it's gonna be an ankle bracelet, maybe make it a little bit bigger. If it's a kid's bracelet, make it a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to take one side and create a loop and I'm going to hold it with my thumb and you want this loop big enough because you're going to wrap it around a couple times and then feed it back through that loop again. So it's always easier and better to have a little bit too much cord than not enough. So I've got it looped, just holding it with my thumb. I'm going to wrap it around two times and just kind of again holding it with my thumb stick the end back up through that loop and then cinch it down on itself and this will become your sliding knot again slides so you can position and resize if you need to just depending on where you want your knot to go and one more time make a loop hold it with your thumb wrap it around two times i'm doing this left-handed around two times. There we go. Stick it back up through the end through your loop and cinch it down tight on itself. And there's your sliding knot. Now again I always like to have way too much cord or a lot more cord than what's necessary. So just clip the ends. If you don't want them to fray you can burn it with the lighter a little bit. And again, to work these, to make it smaller, work the knots towards each other. And to make it looser for maybe an ankle bracelet or something, just slide the knots apart. One size fits all. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, give me a call or email sandy at glassmoose.com.